Hey, what's going on, everyone? I put together a little behind the scenes video of our new movie, Bad Timing. It was a really fun experience, as always, working with my movie family, our leader, Gregory Hatanaka, great director, as always. Awesome time working with you, man. And all the producers involved, Nicole, Shane, Chris, Louie. I mean, it's, it's not even like working when we get together. And then all my co-stars in the movie, Luca and Louie and Jose and Shane and Chris, and I think I mentioned him twice, and my leading lady in the film, Erin. It was such a pleasure to act with you on screen. So I want you guys to have a look at what we were doing. And I can't wait for everyone to see this movie, Bad Timing, when it comes out. All right? So enjoy. Ciao. We got Chris Spinelli here. Hello. How's it going so far? Going really well so far. As you see, the lighting is up already. Nice, nice. So you got a good feeling about this? I've got a great, super feeling about this. So we're making another movie together. We're making another one, and possibly two this week. You never know. Yeah. All right, talk to you guys later. Keep in touch. You're also part of the crew. Part of the crew, DP work, everything. <laughs> Wear many hats. Definitely, and how's the experience been so far? It's always wonderful working with uh, you, Nino, Greg, and the rest of the cast and crew. It's like a really ni nice, tight family that can get stuff done without any problems. And uh, it's more of a, a positive environment, pleasant environment. And Greg's a gentleman. You're a gentleman too, you know, when it comes to just being here and, and just being part of like keeping us connected and keeping that good morale up. Appreciate that. You're welcome. And uh, tell us a little bit about this bad timing, the story. What do you think about it overall? Like your thoughts on it? Overall, it's a sad story. Um, no spoilers, no spoilers. Uh, that's kind of hard. <laughs> it, it, it's it's there's a little bit of romance in it. Uh, it's it's more like crime, romance, drama, and and I think the the main character which you play is trying to redeem himself because he knows the time is short. And uh, I just leave it like that. I really don't want to spoil it. You know me. I just want to tell you like, hey, but you just gotta watch the film. You know, for those that are watching this. Awesome. Thanks yeah. a lot for your time, buddy. You're welcome. All right. I won't take up your time. Living the life, living the dream, bro. Working with the best. All right. Our director and leader, Greg. How we doing, brother? Good. We you're got the, you out of retirement. You're, you're the barometer of how we're doing. So. <laughs> oh, we got boy. born out of retirement. Yeah. Here's our man with the plan. What's up, brother? What's up? You ready for that birthday party in a couple weeks? My birthday party or your birthday our party? Our birthday party. <laughs> Here's... Mr. Spinelli. Hello. What's good, bro? It's all good. We had a really nice day of filming so far. All right. You're the man. Say hi, guys. There we go. Just wave. All hi. right. Uh, well, I mean, I like that it's called Bad Timing. <laughs> that works. <laughs> because I love that movie. Um, there's no relation. Or is there a relation? You no. know, were you thinking about that? Or already Not great even. for that in there? Because Greg put me onto the movie Bad Timing, so I wanted to do it just for the title alone. But um, but um, yeah, I like that it's uh, I like that yes, yeah, it's, it's very character like two person in a room almost kind of story. Because that's how I got my start was doing like a two person in a room, girl and guy, much different scenario. You know, serial killer and a rapist with his victim. But <laughs> but this is a different kind of love story. But it's it's, it's still a killer with his potential victim falling. <laughs> falling uh, possibly for him you know um so i i like that I, I like when when two people are done in a room i like that that can be more engaging um than like a big for me at least than like this big huge 800 million dollar marvel movie or whatever you know i can be very much more interested in just two people talking if, if the, the characters are interesting so i like that aspect of it and um totally you know and and we can shoot it we can shoot it very quickly too i mean we you know when we have no money and we have to like you know push these movies out i love you know a good action film but it's it's obviously we're, we're on schedule and on budget i think and on time you know and all that stuff and i think that's because we don't you know it's just a lot of dialogue so as long as the actors know their fucking lines <laughs> hey, <laughs> they, they, I, I know they're, my they're, lines they're, they're doing really well they're doing really well um, i'm surprised because I, I i i'm doing sound on some of it when you know because my character is small part so i i'm kind of hanging around just doing sound and 
you guys are going on for like, I'm like, fuck, I can't hold this boom any longer. But then I'm like, how do they memorize all this shit? You know? It's a lot of work, definitely. What's up, you guys? How you feeling, Louie? Feeling pretty damn good, living the dream. All right, we got we got the other guys. What's going on here, everyone? Hey, day two. Hey, day two. Hey, what's up? Yeah, we're here. So far, so good? We had some donuts. Yeah. donuts. There we go. <laughs> I beat, After up, that. I beat up Vino yesterday. I yeah. think his ass good. Yeah. He does his own stunts, <laughs> He's too. <my> car <laughs> he does his own stunts. Yeah, I think nice. the car beat him up yesterday. <laughs> that's true, that's All true, right. Though. Say bye, guys. Bye. bye guys. See you later. Bye. Thanks for watching. It has been going amazing. It's been really good long days, but we've gotten a lot done and we're on schedule. Nice. And bad timing. The script, the story, without giving any spoilers, what's your take on it? The script is, uh, don't give any spoilers on it. No spoilers. <laughs> um, the script is a nice, I don't know, the script leaves you just wanting more and um, no spoilers, that's so hard. Um, we put you on the spot now. Yeah, you did, you put me on the spot. Uh, oh, I don't know, you're just gonna have to watch it and see it's, it's a really good, unexpected story. That works. And last thing, how's everyone been on set? Cast, oh, crew? Everyone on set's been amazing. It's been a really nice, small, like close-knit crew for the past three days, so everyone's been like family. How's that lead actor you're working with? Is he okay to work with? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. Set, living the life, living the dream, working with the best. That's right. We got Jay. Jay, how you? I caught you with your pants down, literally. Oh, you got me with the pants down. I'm <laughs> doing great. It's good Chris, to be on the set. Chris Spinelli's looking Hi. at you with your pants down. <laughs> but I've got my pants on still, so that's good. <laughs> Corey, how are we feeling today, bro? I'm feeling good. We're ready to go. We're ready to go. All right. Shane? I'm retiring. You're retiring? <laughs> Where have I heard that before? From this guy. Greg, how are we doing over there, brother? Not here. He's not here. <laughs> he's getting a couple things and he's leaving. All right, peace. You don't have to worry. Jose Adam Alvarez and I played Cop Ramirez in this movie. Okay. And I, uh, you know, I had a great time on the set. The set was smooth, easy. The lines were great. The writing was excellent, and the cast was uh, was amazing. Great. And overall, the without giving any spoilers, what are your thoughts on? the story of bad timing and the whole premise of it? Uh, I like the story. It was, uh, it was simple. It was to the point. You knew what you were doing uh, every minute and you also had a lot of people to help you out on your little journey through the whole uh, script reading and, and you know the directing and so on and so forth. Great. So and great. Uh, cast and crew, how was the camaraderie on set? Easy going. Everyone got along. People helped each other. Uh, you know, and sometimes, you know, if you needed someone to, to help out with uh, with anything, everybody was there for each other. So easy set, easy go, easy everything. Ready for the next one. Ready for the next one. And how about working with that Nino? What was that like? Nino is easy going, great writing, excellent, excellent writer. And I look forward to working with him even more. All right. Thanks a lot, buddy. You got it, buddy. What's up, everyone? Yeah. We're on set yeah, of Bad Timing. We wrapped the movie course. right now. I got my lovely co-star, Aaron, here. Tell everybody a few things. Go ahead. Uh, we just finished day three. It's a wrap. It was great. Can't wait for you guys to see it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Guys, say hi to everyone. Louie, Louie, Louie. Hey, what's up, you guys? We're wrapped. Woo! Wave. There's our director. How we doing, brother? Jose. <laughs> It's a, wrap. it's a wrap. It's a wrap. All right. We'll see you guys at the movies. Cheers. Peace. Bye. My name is Chris Spinelli. I play Cliff Thomas in the movie, but I'm also one of the producers on Bad Timing. And what I do is I wear many hats. I was I did Slate, did a little boom, handled contracts, um, organized some of the... Uh, yeah, I did Scripty. I did some of the... Um, call times and then most importantly it was great I, I got to help you know coach some of the actors you know and that was a lot of fun it was a thrill it was a fun three days got you and without giving any spoilers uh what do you think about the bad timing the script the the story the whole everything yeah i mean you know it's a different type of a, of a movie that we've come out with because 
not to give too much away, but it's one of those stories that takes place over a short period of time. And it takes place basically in, in one location. So I think that with the script, you also definitely need, obviously it's dialogue driven. So you have a lot of scenes with a lot of dialogue, but then again, the story has to also arc and flow through a short amount of time for the characters. So it was, Nino wrote a really good script where it was very structured, where it has arcs and it moves very quickly in a short amount of time. Great, and as far as being on set, what was it like with the cast and crew on set? What was the ambiance for the three days? My goodness, really fun, a lot of laughter, joking, but then very professional and we get our job done. We've been, I've been working with Greg for almost three years now. We've made so many movies. Nino I've been working with for almost a year now. Yeah. And um, we are just a, a family, we're just a, we're just a well-oiled machine. We know each other, we joke around constantly, but then we also know how to get the job done too. Got ya. So how was the Nino experience on this one? Nino, I think they broke the mold when they meet me. That's all I'll say. <laughs> all right, thanks a lot, buddy. You can, man. All right, what's your name and what did you do on this movie? Gregory Hatanaka. And what did you do on this movie? You tell me. <laughs> I believe you're the director. <laughs> Last time I looked. Um, of, I guess I, of, of, of note or label, I am the director slash producer, co-producer, executive producer with, with Nino Chimino of Chimino Productions, I guess. Yeah, yeah. But we're all we're all a, like a, a very tightly woven knitted team. So I don't you think also, I don't think titles and labels that's really true. do justice for something like this. You were also yeah. camera operating a lot too. You mean the director of photography? Director of photography, okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. And without giving out any spoilers, what do you think of the premise and story of Bad Timing? Well, I mean, it's a chamber piece. There's only, uh, there's basically two characters and then maybe four that peripheral characters. So it's, 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 at, its, at its heart, it's, it's sort of a theatrical uh, chamber piece set in one location. You know, this interplay, this relationship that develops from nothing and it becomes something. Um, that ends into kind of a little bit of a tragical feel. Um, so Got in that sense, it's like a theater. Like I said, it's theater. Very much. As far as the casting crew, what was the camaraderie on set like for the three days? Well, I mean, we're, we're I mean, this is our third Chimino production, and it's our nineteenth movie with most of the crew and, and cast. The the rest of the cast. So we're we're you know we're a family at this point. So it's a lot of there's a lot of shorthand going on. Um, it's the reason why we could make this movie in three days. Uh, you know, we, we had basically two cameras, so essentially sort of double crew. Um, by now we, it's not, I'm not saying we're just like painting by numbers, but we've got sort of this shorthand approach, quick approach to know how to crank something like this out so quickly. Very nice. And last one, how was it working with Nino on this one? <laughs> do I, <laughs> do I take the fifth, uh, plead the fifth You can that? say whatever you want. <laughs> no, he's awesome. Nino's awesome. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Good.